So for this list or this selection, we're gonna be using Atrium Fragrances five categories. So we've got Versatile, Date Night, Summer, Head Turner, and Office. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Make sure you get Atrium's next summertime fragrance, Mr. Radiance, which you can do so through the link in the description and pinned comment down below. This is the first ever real oud mango aquatic fragrance ever made. You can get it for only five days through pre-order and it comes with a complimentary sample to try the fragrance out first. Click the link in the description down below, guys. Thank you. Now, for this first category of versatile fragrance, I'm gonna be going with two picks from Tom Ford. The first pick is gonna be Black Orchid the original EDP. Now, the reason I would pick this is I think it makes for a very unique scent profile to wear. And I think that as long as you keep the sprays relatively low in the highest of heats in the summertime, you can wear it to pretty much any occasion, any event, any location, and in any season. The other pick I'm going to go for is Ombre Leather. Now, Ombre Leather to me is just one of the best, if not the best, photorealistic clean leather fragrances. Emphasis on clean. It's not animalic, it's not fecal, it's not skanky, it's it's none of those kinds of leather. It's, it's that freshly tailored inside of a car kind of leather. It's that just crisp, fresh, perfect leather. And it's beautiful, it's paired beautifully with some dried fruits in there, some spices. It's versatile enough, again, in summer, tone down the sprays, but you can still get away with this kind of a scent profile. So, Tom Ford's Ombre Leather EDP for the category of versatile. So for the next category, we're going with the Date Night fragrance. Now again, I've got another two picks for you, because I just, I'm really bad at choosing. <laughs> so this has kind of turned from five Tom Fords for life to 10 Tom Fords for life. Retroactive. Welcome to School of Scent. We're going to be doing, if I had to only choose 10 for, top boards for life, here's what they are. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Anyways, back to it. First pick is Noir Extreme, the EDP. Now the Parfum is lovely, don't get me wrong, but the EDP is where it's at. There's something magic about this, something mysterious. Attractive, magnetic is the word I'm looking for. Magnetic. It's just, I honestly give this a 10 out of 10. It's perfect. It, it's a perfect fragrance. The use of Kolfi in the top as a note is an ingenious. I can't think of another fragrance that's got a Kolfi note off the top of my head. And it's done wonderfully here. And if you haven't tried it, or if you don't know what it is, Kolfi is a Indian dessert. It's beautiful, it's spiced, like, ah, oh, it's luscious and you will smell like that. This is a sophisticated and elegant gourmand, in my opinion, and it's, you know, it's intimate, intoxicating, all the right things for a date night without overstaying its welcome and without being too overpowering. Now for the second pick that I'd choose, it's gotta be Tobacco Vanille. Now, this stuff, I'm, t <laughs> I'm gonna look like a Tom Ford fanboy today. This stuff is another 10 out of 10. This is a masterpiece. Dried fruits, vanilla, tobacco, a little bit smoky, but not overly smoky. More of sort of a sweet piped tobacco almost. It's just phenomenal. On a date, this will give off a vibe of slightly bad boy, but refined bad boy, you know? CEO bad boy. This gives off mafia boss, if you wanted to date one, vibes if that makes sense to you. I hope it makes sense to you. It made sense to me. <laughs> yeah, tobacco vanille, solid choice for a date night. A little bit stronger though, so maybe go a bit lighter on the sprays for this one, for sure. 32% of people who watch School of Scent are subscribed to us. If you guys want to see our channel grow, to really help us out, click subscribe. Let's get that number to 40%. Thank you. Moving on to the category of a summertime fragrance, and I've got two different styles of summertime in mind. So we're gonna start off with the classic, which is fresh, citrusy, aquatic, all of those things. And that is Mandarino di Amalfi. Yeah, not Neroli Portofino, 
Mandarino de Amalfi. I just think this is better and slept on. So that's why I'm recommending it. Um, this is a aquatic burst of orange. Imagine citron, lemon, oranges, all of that with a sea-like, seaweedy vibe. Not bad seaweed, good seaweed. That's what Mandarino de Amalfi smells like. A good representation of the Amalfi Coast. That's what it was designed to be. That's what it is. So if you like your fresh, aquatic, citrus heavy summer fragrances, this one is definitely the one I'd recommend to you. The second pick I have here, Eau de Soleil Blanc. However, I would personally go for Soleil Blanc nowadays. I have this one because it was a cheaper version of the private line scent, which is Soleil Blanc. It's very close to it. It's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit fresher. It's not as long lasting as Soleil Blanc. However, it still gets across the main idea, the main premise of the fragrance, which is a creamy, sun creamy, coconutty, sandy kind of a vibe. It's that beach style fragrance. If Mandarino di Amalfi was the sea and the coastline, this is the beach and sun bathing and, you know, all of that. That's what this encompasses. This is beautiful. Absolutely adore this kind of a scent profile. I'm a sucker for a coconut style fragrance and this, this is definitely a coconut style fragrance. It's got the creaminess, almost a lactonic nature to this one. So Eau de Soleil Blanc or Soleil Blanc, you can't go wrong. In fact, you can't go wrong with any of the Soleil line in the private line. This is slowly, slowly spiraling from five Tom Fords for life to just get all the Tom Fords. <laughs> I did not plan this, I promise. Moving on. Okay, so moving on to the category of head turning fragrances. And again, two for you. First of all, Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. However, nowadays, I would probably substitute this for Cherry Smoke. Cherry Smoke has better performance, a little bit deeper, and probably justifies its price tag a little bit better. But Lost Cherry is the fragrance that got me into fragrances. I had Versace Eros, we're going on a tangent here, people. I had Versace Eros EDP as my signature scent, and Lost Cherry was the fragrance I smelt that got me into the world of fragrances into this discovery of how unique and how different and how crazy perfumery can actually be. Now, this is like a sour cherry sweet, think um, fizzy Haribo cherry sweets along that kind of a line with some florals in there, some rose. It's very nice. It's got a powderiness to it as well. Why am I recommending this for a head turning fragrance? Because you name one person walking down the street right now, one guy that smells like cherries. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, exactly, there isn't one. <laughs> you will turn heads by how unique you smell. And that that is the, the mindset I've gone with for both these picks. Cherry smoke is definitely a more masculine take on this style. So you have those cherries in there still, but you have that smokiness that gives it a bit more masculinity. So if you find that Lost Cherry is a bit too feminine for your tastes, for your liking, then by all means, check out Cherry Smoke. That is another one I'd recommend. But onto the other one I've picked. And that is actually a fragrance that was marketed towards women. I'm not even sure if you can get it still. Maybe. Um, this is a nightmare on camera as well. Metalik. Metalik. Sweet and metallic. I don't know how else to describe it. It smells like metal. Metal leak. Um, <laughs> no, it genuinely, it smells like metal. It smells like vanilla and cut sheet metal, if that makes any sense, which I think is something I would turn my head to for sure. And again, this is going even more unique. This is going down the crazy unique road because I, wholeheartedly believe that if you want to have a fragrance be a head turning fragrance the best thing you can do is make it something that stands out from everything as much as possible it doesn't have to be the loudest in the room it has to be the most interesting in the room of course it has to be loud at the same time and don't get me wrong this is loud but it's got to have that presence have that character have that confidence within itself not just be a loud loud fragrance which yeah 
Metal League does that for sure. Lost Cherry to an extent. I suppose if you wanted, if you wanted a way more masculine suggestion than Metal League or Lost Cherry, I would probably go in the direction of Tobacco Oud. Tobacco Oud from the private line. If you want a head turner that's super masculine, 1000 cent check that one out. And finally, that brings us on to the final category of an office fragrance. So the first one I'm picking, Oud Mineral. Yeah, Oud Mineral. Now, this has just had a re-release this year in the signature line. So I think the bottle looks like this now. It's like a brownie color with some black on it, from what I remember. <laughs> and the DNA, the, the juice is extremely similar to the old Oud Mineral. Oud Mineral is a fragrance from Tom Ford that's been re-released, I think, two or three times now. Um, this is the first time it's come out in the signature collection as of this year. And it's a sea salty oud fragrance, like fresh oud fragrance. It's not dark, it's not overly smoky, it's not overly sweet. You get a lot of that sea salt and you get that subtle smoky oud, which I think works wonders in an office environment. It's sophisticated, it's classy, it gives off those CEO vibes. And going along with those CEO vibes is my other suggestion, which would be Tom Ford's Oud Wood. It's a classic DNA at this point. It's incredible. It's a masterpiece. It smells fantastic. It combines rich Oud and woods, but does it in a not blowing your brains out kind of way <laughs> in terms of the strength. It does it in a, a subdued, slightly subdued, subdued? <laughs> Terrible fun. A subdued manner. Again, class, sophistication, elegance, CEO vibes from that as well. Those would be the two I would gravitate towards if I had to pick for that category. So that was meant to be five Tom Ford fragrances for the rest of my life. And it turned into 10 Tom Ford fragrances for the rest of my life with several extra recommendations because I think Tom Ford is fantastic. <laughs> I do think the private line is a bit pricey. It can be quite expensive. That can make its accessibility not the best. My advice for the private line would be to try them, experiment, see if any pull your attention enough to justify the price to you. Value is subjective after all. So if you can justify the price tag on any of those for yourself, go right ahead, get your favorite, rock it, wear it, feel confident, feel great, smell great. The signature line, I think, is fantastic value for money, though. You've got a 10 out of 10 in ombre leather. You've got a 10 out of 10 in black orchid. If you find that a bit too rugged, a bit too harsh, maybe, and you want something smoother, I would recommend black orchid parfum. It works better for me. I know that in the past, Omar has said that that is his preferred concentration of black orchid as well. So we're in agreement on that. What else have you got in the Signature Collection? Noir Extreme is in the Signature Collection. Another 10 out of 10 perfect for dates. There's fantastic Tom Ford fragrances within the Signature line, not just the private line. The Signature line is still up there in terms of designer prices, but you're getting into the same realm as you would be in Mancera prices or Montau prices for niche perfumery. So you're still looking at that 120, 130, 140 for a bottle kind of price tag which in today's climate is kind of the norm now. <laughs> but yeah, Tom Ford's a fantastic house. I really struggled to do five for life. I'm sure you can, you can see that. Let me know in the comments, what would your five for life be? Or what would your 10 for life be? Or are you like me? Can you not pick? Is it very, very difficult? Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for joining me. I've been the captain. You've been awesome. And with that, I will catch you lot on the flip side. Adios.